वो भाई जस्ट झटके में आ गया है हेलो गाइस हाय हेलो हाय हेलो गाइस सो आज का लाइव सेशन जो है वो कोलकाता के बहुत ही फेमस एंड बहुत ही अच्छे फोटोग्राफर डेकरेज जिनका नाम सामिया है उनके साथ है एंड अभी मैं लाइव सेशन चालू करने वाला हूँ सो so, मुझे बस उनका इंट्रोडक्शन देना है आपको कि लाइक like, अगर मुझे अगर एक टीम बनानी हो ना फोटोग्राफर की तो डेफिनेटली हमेशा मैं उनका नाम रखूँगा बिकॉज वो बहुत ही बहुत ही एक्सेलेंट है मतलब उनका काम बहुत ही एक्सेलेंट है एंड उन, उनको जो एनवायरनमेंट का जो पता है नॉलेज है उनका बहुत ज़्यादा है जैसे कि उनको हर एनवायरनमेंट में शूट करने की आदत है जो मैंने उनको देखे मुझे पता चली है दे ही सनसेट स्पेशली सनसेट के बहुत अच्छे फोटोज क्लिक करते हैं एंड बहुत सारे लाइक एनवायरमेंटल पोर्ट्रेट्स एंड स्ट्रीट फोटोग्राफी एंड हेलो सर हाय 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 हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड हाउ आर यू सर ग्रेट 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 डूइंग ग्रेट हाउ हाउ इज हाउ इज योर लाइफ हाउ इज योर लाइफ इनसाइड स्लो डाउन एंड इट्स स्टॉप्ड आई गेस इट्स इट्स स्टॉप्ड नाउ एंड आई एम आई एम एट होम ओनली एंड जस्ट पासिंग डेज सो होप फॉर द बेस्ट बट आई एम फाइन आई एम फिट एंड फाइन हाउ आर यू uh same here man i mean everybody is stuck at home and uh, mostly work is happening from home itself we are none of us are you know used to such an environment where everybody is working from home but it's it's pretty i would say tricky but we have to cope up because the situation of the country is really really tough yeah, so that's man. the problem <laughs> right right right, right. So, so i just introduce you and uh, the okay. about you that uh, uh, what you do and uh, like how you do because you inspire me a lot in so many ways when it comes to documentation when it comes to understanding environment when it comes to understanding the street uh, understanding clouds also so you are very experienced when it comes to that so i just want to understand one thing like my first question to you is when you started and how you started okay so uh, you know the journey has been quite erratic to be honest i started pretty late so it was not that i was i was so passionate about you know photography right from the beginning so i was i always used to be you know uh, posted in uh, in in the meghalaya so i used to be posted in the northeastern part of the country for for a long period of time so waha pe there was no life to be honest beyond work so you know all the shops used to get closed uh, you know pretty much uh, after the sunset is done is, is is gone so you cannot do uh, you know anything beyond uh, uh, you know photography that or, or office work that's that's beyond say 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock so all i had to do is to look you know look around and see what what is happening on the on the streets what is happening uh, beyond my office hour and what is happening across in daily life and if you know in arunachal pradesh or northeast there's nothing much that's happening every day so it's very very you know dark it's very gloomy and you cannot also take out you know your camera very often because people often judge you if you have been to the northeast you know that it's not possible to take out your camera every time so you, right. you it was it's quite a challenge to to first cope up with but then i realized that you know getting over these challenges was also one one huge part about photography when you go out you do not fear about anything else you just go out mm-hmm. and do your thing so it started in 2013 with my first dslr and then um, and then slowly but surely when i came back to calcutta i realized that you know the colors the textures were were uh, you know very very so, so wonderful and uh, i i really want you know started exploring more and more so how has been your journey how did you start so sir i started uh, like i started my photography with my friends in college times and uh, after that uh, i joined studio to understand the like how photography means how camera works so i i worked in a studio uh, for 8 9 months 
to understand like the what is the process of photography the the, the, the history of photography so how camera like how how to shoot how to like back uh, a film album how to click portraits the passport side portraits so that's how i started but after that uh, then i moved to like uh, a phone photography then i like bought a, a good phone and then i started shooting with the phone uh, like while while like doing my job office job acha so, acha so I, i was like doing having a day photography and uh, other time a uh, job so you know what happened okay. okay so one day my friend like introduced me to instagram my friend satyam introduced me to so that instagram is a app you can post your pictures and you can start uh, like uh, posting pictures what you click so i used to click normal nature pictures like what i like i just used to post then slowly 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 uh, i started like liking this app so much and because of this instagram because of the instagram i got to know a lot of people i got to know like about the street photography about the tar photography about so many like was was it i uh, like various uh, genre of photography then i like decided that i want to shoot like this so then like dheere 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 it, it then i grew and so right, uh, right. the one thing i wanted to like understand from you you hmm. shoot like festivals like different different types of festivals and second you i think you are so much obsessed with colors colors because when i see your feed when i see your work there is there are a lot of colors vibrance and my vibrant colors and lot of happening like i can feel the pictures and i can feel the emotions also and i can feel the 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 uh, festival so like what is the story behind that like why you are so obsessed with colors and festivals right so uh, you know as a as a as a child i i really used to love painting so many of many people do not probably know i used to love painting and uh, though it I, it hasn't continued uh, so far so i haven't managed to take that forward but then i used to love colors a lot and especially green and red and uh, and i think mostly orange these were the three four colors that i used to really love so all of my paintings had these colors in prominence and when as a street photographer you come onto the streets or explore the streets these colors also have a lot of role to play for example you are doing a juxtaposition on the street right so if you look at a lot of people doing juxtaposition especially he needs sir when he does something like that you see a lot of color coordination going in with the environment the human character and also the story line so the color has a strong connect to it so for me these colors speak a different language altogether and and if i go beyond photography if i go into physics so these colors have a lot of impact on the human brain as well so certain set of colors if you if you analyze the color palette well certain set of colors especially blue has a lot of impact on uh, human mind and if you have a decent dosage of color in your street frames it actually you know engrosses your viewers to look at your pictures even more so to say i think that has driven me uh, more into doing colors i am also into black and white i love black and white pictures mm. so uh, so but then color yeah it's it's preference number one what is what is for you do you really click uh, want to click pictures in black and white or in color what's your choice so you know basically i am also uh, like 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 you only i love vibrant, vibrant colors i love uh, like drama in my pictures i love clouds i love the natural things like what i see from with my eyes so i am very obsessed with color same like you but you know when it comes to shooting when it comes to like pursuing that that thing uh, i am not that like up to the mark uh, when it comes to like so uh, like like the color the the what should i say to enhance that color to to give the re, the the feel of that color so that's the reason i end up always like getting fail because but when it comes to you i understand one thing the light and the colors are both are balanced in in your pictures that i that i that i studied a lot and uh, that's the reason like i always wanted to learn from you and just want to work with you like how you click with the light with a with a good condition of light so that's something very interesting also about me mine is very simple like what i what i see i click and uh, i don't know like uh, what will happen next but i i see what i click that's that was simple mantra and uh, i always experiment on my uh, my feed like i sometimes i do moody thing like moody colors sometimes i Uh, do black and white it's depend upon my current situation or of my mind and current current scenario what i am feeling so that's what i do 
but when it comes to you you are so consistent with the color like the colors your orange is always the same orange of your like the first year yeah, also yeah. and your yellow yeah. is the same yellow as a previous year also so that's the consistency yes. and that's the understanding of the same color that's uh, that i learned from you and that's a great list so sir uh, what do you uh, what do you what do you want to suggest about the festival thing like the festival because you have covered a lot of festival which we don't know from west bengal also and there are so many cities and country uh, the states you have visited and you have shot so can i just guide right. us right right i'll uh, there are a lot of comments who are saying notice us notice us anurna we'll come to your questions there is a dedicated <laughs> section where we'll take the questions yeah. and we'll answer those yeah. uh, yeah. so let's just first part of the uh, you know uh, part get over so yeah i will definitely like to talk about festivals because you know these days i have seen a lot of people a lot of photographers taking interest in shooting festivals but yes. what we have seen eventually is that people are not studying these festivals properly so right. by studying i mean reading online blogs by looking at previous pictures what we call as reference images by looking at it by studying by talking to the locals or the local photographers you can always connect to them on a regular basis and talking to them understanding at what time of of the festival does the main crux or the main climax happen for example in the haldi festival when does the baba come out and when does he you know take that round we right. always need to know that first right so if you know that what will happen is you can actually you know plan your entire a festival part very carefully because what happens is there is a lot of adrenaline rush that happens you are always at the you know same uh, you always think about whether i do not miss out on any particular part of the festival or not and of course there is so much of competition these days i think people really struggle hard to create uh, you know yeah. pictures and, and and you know the most important thing that people fail these days is to picking the right sort of pictures uh, to post that is very important so that is also part of editing what we call under the main bracket of editing to select the right pictures so mm-hmm. in this quarantine period i have received a lot of texts from people saying that they look back and they see a lot of images they have taken from a festival that they didn't even post they didn't even consider posting so when they look mm-hmm. back and they see that mm-hmm. these images are part of the best yeah part of the best images there so i think mm-hmm. studying those conditions of a festival before going there planning your entire day choosing your right gear because there is not too much opportunity to change change your lenses right, right, right. it's very important to you know choose your right gear i think for festivals we generally choose a wide angle lens we do not go ahead and select something very really zoom lens or something like that a wide angle lens works um, and uh, you know uh, not changing not fidgeting too much with the settings i think a lot of people use the aperture mode it's perfectly fine and uh, of course look for very unique angles It's like we have seen so many pictures coming from the yellow festival but still every year i find out something different or the other from the yeah. festival that means people are looking out for unique things so i think keeping all these things in mind i think any festival is a is more or less a cake walk uh, i think for for uh, people who are actually uh, focusing more on festivals these days one big challenge they face always is there are a lot of photographers so people tell yeah. me that you know my big challenge is whether there one one frame or the one frame is infested by a lot of cameras in it so no, i think nice. uh, do not worry about it you know you will definitely if you are a good photographer you will manage eventually in this entire process that's the only thing i want to say right 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 so sir uh, you know uh, one thing about uh, you document things as well as i understand with you when you were in mumbai also when we were in uh, haldi festival also so i i i feel that your the your sort of images uh, as we discussed earlier in mumbai you you told me that you have a very, you have seen a very different mumbai that you have like you never seen that kind of mumbai on uh, like on instagram feed or at somewhere so what are the type like what what was the, that, that that picture i i know you haven't shared that pictures yet you you have you know click that pictures and you i don't know what you are going to do with that pictures but uh, I I I still believe that the because from your from your work from your current work I know that you have clicked a lot of pictures in from Mumbai so I want to understand like one thing so what do you think about Mumbai and about the photography uh, as a as a photograph as a photography thing as a photography location what do you think about Mumbai it's it's amazing i think uh, when i come back when i have uh, you know been back to calcutta i have been always talking about this that you know i perhaps found mumbai more interesting than calcutta 
because of the simple fact that mumbai has so much of possibilities on the streets and in the landscape front i i i believe i have explored myself more as a landscape photographer when i was in maharashtra than i was back in calcutta when i you know uh, went to the places like mathuran mahabaleshwar yeah. uh yeah <laughs> once i was about to come on i was about to come on that point because yeah. I, it was so unex- it was so unexpected that you were at you visited mathuran mahabaleshwar and lonavala uh so you you click so much so much of variety of pictures there with the uh, environment like you witness the fog you witness the winter you witness the rainy season that's the reason like i wanted to always discuss about that ki there is there are so much versatility in your work when when you are moving because when i when i came to like when i was at at kolkata i was so confused i was so confused like what to do <laughs> what to do i don't know yeah. like, So I, I I was like there was there was only one thing in my mind I want to shoot aero taxis because I I was I'm, I was so obsessed with aero taxis so I was only search for aero taxis everywhere and I click everything with aero taxis like everywhere how do we aero taxis because I was not like that much understanding of uh, the city uh, because there was a it's a, it's a very vast city uh, lot of uh, like lot of opportunities lot of street faces and it's all it's and it's vibrant also so uh, in that condition i i first time i faced brand coming again uh, in durga puja this year hopefully uh, so i find kolkata like i i mentioned that uh, on my story also it's a for me it's a, always fascinated kolkata is really fascinated because i always wanted to like uh, explore more okay and to create videos also from it next time definitely i'll do So for me, you know, in India, the forestry photography, Kolkata is always like better than Mumbai for me, and then then Mumbai, then then uh, then Delhi, like the, the, the three main cities, major cities. Uh, I think they have a lot of opportunities. Oh, uh, what about Varanasi? What about Varanasi? You didn't mention Varanasi. Varanasi. It's a whole different world. It's a whole different zone. Like I love Varanasi yeah. a lot. I have been to five times there. I love Varanasi, but the urbanization, the, the fear of urban. it's in kolkata mumbai and uh, uh, our delhi three three major cities yeah. yes sir yeah. so yeah. what do you think about instagram Definitely. like so what do you think about instagram like it is it like uh, what things change you as a person or as a creator or as a photographer from because of instagram yeah so uh, you know instagram has been a big big motivational force for me you know though uh, there have been a lot of people in the circuit of calcutta who do not like instagram too much because they feel that you know perhaps uh, images that deserve the maximum number of attention do not get it but the ones who that are not pro- probably up to the limit up to the that particular potential they get a lot of you know traction but to be very honest this is a very relative thing you know you find one picture to be good some other person can find the other picture good as well so i right. think instagram what it has done it has made people think out of the box for example you know when you used to click pictures using a gopro i do not think people really thought that even gopro can be used to click such you know wide perspectives with a with a with something like a very wide angle feel to it i don't think people really you know thought about it so i think mm-hmm. uh, and people have also evolved through instagram itself itself i have right. seen people you know developing as a very good uh, you know people who treat the pictures well we call it post processing in 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 real terms so people have actually improved their post processing looking at others pictures people like uh, steve mcgarry is there on instagram they they clearly share so much of work each and every day so looking at their feed and i do not think it is so accessible so much accessible uh, for people yeah. uh, to see so many pictures on a single you know mobile platform on a single day i think it's amazing instagram has taken photography to a, to a whole new level i i would believe i used to be on flickr uh, when i ne- wasn't on instagram but i find instagram more much more user friendly much more effective mm-hmm. and uh, there is no limits to your reach you can your photo can reach you know anywhere anywhere in the world right mm-hmm. yeah. so how do you balance your like office work and the photography because uh, when i do both thing i was very like like i was not in that position to manage both sometimes but uh, still I, i tried but but what about you from so many years you are doing you are managing both the things equally when it comes to festival also when it comes to uh, particular shoots so how do you manage that things and uh, like what do you want to give suggestion to uh, other 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 content creators who do both the things like photography also and the job because you are the person right. i think 
uh, who is like doing both the things uh, and very perfectly so you know this this question uh, you know comes back to me almost in each, each and every conversation that we have with creators in fact i have an entire ted talk totally talking about balance so yeah. uh, but but still i would really like to talk about this because a lot of people who have joined work recently they're saying that you know i can't manage there's 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 no time that i can give to my at least looking at pictures let let aside processing those pictures and posting on instagram i do not have time but to be very honest i think you know in our office hours it's 8 hours right 8 hours of legitimate working hours and a lot of people take chai breaks sutta breaks so many breaks they have i think even in those breaks if you look at say 100 pictures on instagram looking at 100 pictures is 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 not a big deal looking at 100 pictures at least you, at the back of your mind you definitely have this idea that at least when i go back i can try and match up to that standards my standard is not you know what what my Like, like the tenth picture of my feed is so tenth picture of each and every feed actually talks about the standard of a person. Whether that tenth picture, the picture that he posted ten days back, is of the same category standard as he's posting today, is a mark of whether he is consistent in in a way or or not. So whether I can match up to my level of the last of the tenth or the ninth picture that I posted, along with match, you know, maybe going one level up. and matching my superior something like that if you look at somebody as a superior though there is nothing with respect to photography i think it's this so much of time so much of time that you can spare yeah. even i i use most of my time when i go to office and coming back in the uber i use a lot of time to look back at my pictures and maybe post process them in a different way i look at so many pictures every day so balancing is not a difficult thing you should have a chart i think at the you know probably at the beginning of the month you should have a proper chart with yourself that these are the things that i am going to do this is the extra time that i have i think i should do something like this i should achieve something like this in the by the end of this month i think you will manage to do it sort of big deal that, that's that's so nice and very informative uh, when i when i watched your tet talk also it was so informative about work work balance and about uh, photography things i learned a lot of things from you lot lot of things and i really want to uh, like spend some time with you on streets because last time i have missed that opportunity like we we spent so much time but not that much but now i like, i have lot of things to understand from you and to uh, to learn with you hopefully soon when you will come back like to mumbai uh, or else i'll i'll be there in kolkata soon uh, so so right. i want to know from you one thing uh, like what which are the things that inspires you like as vinit vora sir said that paintings are their inspirations from painting they uh, like understand the light and they understand the work so what are those uh, like things which inspired you to like to search uh, do things like such clicking stick pictures or clicking documenting or uh, things right so uh, you know i uh, i i had a uh, very, i would say i would call him a friend he was uh, an uncle uh, i would say an uncle but he he was a writer somebody who who has been inspiring me a lot uh he is no more uh, i'm very you know unfortunate that i lost him in the entire process so he taught me the idea of of you know finding things finding interesting things out of the mundane things that we do in each and every day for example right now when people are stuck at home you know you see the same things probably each and every day but you will also try and create some content out of the very mundane things that 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 come up to your mind so what really works for a street photographer is because we go to a same place multiple times i think you have visited you recently posted a picture of uh, you know dhubi ghat i think you have gone there more than 100 times but yeah. uh, whenever you go there you try and create something yeah. new right something yeah, out of the right. right and i think the simple pleasure of creating something out of the box out of the very mundane things that we do in regular life my mom keeps asking me boss i you know you i i go to the kitchen every day but why do you spend so much of time in the kitchen just shooting pictures these days what do you shoot i never see something like this but so that's the beauty of it when you create something out of the ordinary and the world appreciates it i think that's the entire you know idea of of having fun having that's that's the entire satisfaction of creating something else that inspires me to go go on and on and on and click more pictures every day and also i think something that we, i have also been trying recently is to add two or three pictures together to see whether they form a story or not so that they could be like split like a split so uh, uh, you know sanket started it but then i thought that maybe i could add my own flavor to it uh so mm-hmm. what can be also very interesting in this quarantine period when people are actually having a lot of time they can actually look at some of the pictures they have shot in the past they could be totally un- disconnected they can be shot even years apart from each other but right. if they can collect those in form of either a photo series or a photo story 
I think they will, you know, manage to surprise themselves. I manage to surprise myself by connecting three or four pictures together. That they can actually something from Japan, something from Maharashtra. Both of these collided and formed such a wonderful composition. So, you know, asking questions every time. That's the that's the inspiration that lets me going. So, uh, just so what you call yourself? A uh, uh, festival photographer, street photographer, or travel photographer? What um, do you want me to call you? To you, like like in simple word. But I was so confused. Paul, how, you, like, how to give your introduction to the to the audience? Uh, I think it's better you call me a hobbyist photographer. <laughs> just a hobbyist because you know i i haven't i haven't really managed to establish myself in each of the genre because you know street photography is the toughest genre that i've ever tried and that i've ever you know attempted i would say you know out of say if i consider my scale in 100 i am not even there as a 2 i haven't even scored a 2 because there's so much of spectrum in every day i see so many wonderful street images and and such amazing connections that i couldn't have even dreamt in my wildest of imaginations you know people are making those pictures every day and uh, i think something that really drives me is also to create i think we talked about it when we were mumbai i was in mumbai 2 years back that we will create some photo stories or content that people have ma- never seen in the past i think you were talking about uh, uh, some some sort of a dholak who used to come to your friends's place or something like that i i don't you know right. clearly remember but i think it was a dholak or uh, something like that so something that really is out of the box i had a lot of ideas about doing a series on exorcism so i think you you shot something similar uh, sometime back right in exorcism yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. i think you shot something like that so i also had something like that in mind so creating all this passion of creating something totally out of the box that is something you it's very very interesting so call me a hobbyist because i haven't you know uh, excelled in in anything as of now that's what i feel so one thing uh, about i want to say about kolkata photographers of kolkata uh, uh, there are so many like brilliant and like yesterday also we i i, I got i got to understand one person uh, subhat so, subhat right Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Just yeah. like very brilliant and very excellent photographers from Kolkata. So when I see a photographer from Kolkata and from other other cities, so there are a lot of difference. There are a lot of lot of difference when it comes to maturity of pictures and the understanding of picture. Is there something in Kolkata? Like is there some? Because there are so mature photographers. So if you if you yeah. if you see history of photography also, na. Like five out of ten photographers are from Kolkata. I don't know the name of my banner, the and all of that, or 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 the people, uh, the the oldest people, they they are from Kolkata. So, what is there in like that Kolkata, the the soil of Kolkata? uh you know i think it's it's pretty much in the culture of people i think you know satyajit ray satyajit ray he belongs from this city and uh, of course he didn't get the recognition that's i i think i feel ashamed as a bengali that we he had to win an award from from the global platform and then he was recognized back in india but if you look at satyajit ray's work the kind of you know concept the frames he conceptualized the story lines that he had or the scripts that he had is very relevant to even today's date so you know the, the the way he used to write and he was a he was a talent altogether he was a brilliant photographer he was a brilliant il- illustrator he used to paint all the characters himself and he used to write and then he used to direct so a person with so much of talent from calcutta and who represented india at a global stage who who initiated the entire idea that's a big pride i i have and plus at the same time when i meet youngsters from kolkata versus mumbai i work with a lot of mumbai youngsters in mumbai as well i think the major difference is that the thought process is very very unique in kolkata so yeah. people in kolkata the youngsters when they go i have i have interacted with a lot of them they say that i do not want to create content just because people will like it i want to create content because 10 years down the line when you know my my family members look at these pictures and my friends look at these pictures they say that yes this guy had something in him something out of the box in him so that he tracked the light correctly he looked at the textures correctly he looked at the moment correctly and he would have created something very very unique out of the box i think this is something that i see in kolkata youngsters in mumbai what i see is people are so passionate i mean you know they, i i would you know compliment mumbai photographers a bit more than the kolkata here in terms of their commitment their passion you know i used to call ajay almost any time of the day and he was always ready i will come sir main aa jaunga ab kahin bhi bula lo he is very passionate he is very yeah and, and this is the same for you 
you even you guys you, know, you uh, your entire group i think everywhere every i used to see you in every public festival that i attended in mumbai that's a big thing a huge thing that you you guys are stretching yourself you are you know making an attempt towards creating good content i think this is a very very you know a healthy trend but kolkata ha it thinks differently but at the same time the intent is the same that is you know pursuing photography passionately that's the entire idea because when it comes to uh, when it comes to quality and understanding and the maturity that the 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 thing is that kolkata photographers that they have different kind of maturity because when you came to like when you was when we were shooting a uh, gudipada festival also you know in bombay last year right you were there last to last year hmm. uh, so last year you clicked so much so many like amazing wide shots like so many, like a very different kind of wide shots so it was like for me also to understand that wow there are a lot of opportunity in wide like horizontal wide shots because i because i find myself very attractive and uh, like i find myself very cool in vertical shots because of mm. the instagram thing. as as instagram inspired yeah. me uh, to do photography yeah. to uh, like yeah. so that's the reason but when i see your shot and when i see other people's work they have like wide shots and they have like wide content ganpati festival mm. also use ganpati festival very differently in gullies gullies of mumbai right so it yeah. was yeah. so also amazing like there was there, there was also opportunity to work because I never seen that of that kind of pictures. That was the first. That was a very fresh content from you, and also Ajay. I I I studied Ajay also because he also clicked so few pictures very differently, very differently. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that something I like makes uh, us different. And right. Sir, so Ganesh, I had a small question here, you know, to you because you talked about the vertical frame. I think everybody would like to know this from you. So you know, uh, there are times when people have come to me and they have asked me, and of course, this was also talked by Instagram when they did this uh, born on Instagram uh, event in Kolkata some days back. So they're you know encouraging content creators to post in vertical very frequently. But then, if you look at the idea of cinematography, cinematographers never shoot in vertical. They are always right. in wide shot. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you think that this entire idea of creating, you know, vertical content just for Instagram is actually, you know, to some extent curbing the uh, per- perspective of people? They are influencing right. people to think in a right way. What do you think? I I agree with you because when when we shoot a su- subject uh, in vertically, we narrow ourselves. We narrow ourselves, our our vision. Because I I personally uh, like experience that in me. when i shoot like 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 yesterday only i i shared picture with you like two pictures the which yeah, i wanted yeah, yeah. with vertical with different frame yeah. but the same personality yeah. with the wide wide wider frame so uh, but for instagram people vertical because of the screen because of the screen ratio of 4 is to 5 yeah. it it looks big it comes big when it comes on a screen yeah. so they feel very attractive but on, but in reality the wide pictures are more attractive when it if you see that same picture on, on a book it will it will like it will feel more attractive so only for instagram like the vertical works but not in the reality but not in real life and not in the photography history i think the wide the wide shots are the only like photography is from history and it's a it's a it's a main source i think so and right. so uh, if a youngster you know if a youngster comes to i am sure a lot of youngsters come to you regarding tips on what should how should they click to become more and more uh, popular on instagram or rather have a lot of traction on instagram what is your what are your two or three recommendations how should they shoot or what are the things they should they should keep in mind so firstly you know what uh, the first thing about to grow and to understand photography is to experiment so many things like because from last 2 2 3 4 years i am watching a lot of pictures like i i studied a lot of pictures because i see a lot of stuff a lot of 200 to 300 pictures daily from different different creators and apart from that what i am creating that is much important so oh. i my focus into all the creators like see see everything on instagram or or any platform but try to create something different from it then only it will work oh. because you know what uh, how our our generation and our like our mentality is what we see different like unique and attractive we like that thing because when we scroll instagram something is very attractive we stop for a second or two second that something is important for instagram and the second thing is consistency is very important 
uh, I asked you also like two three months back, like so why are you are not active? But you said like uh, like I'm not happy with Instagram because of the engagement. So I I personally feel that when it comes to you and there are so many photographers because your content is so much superior level, but you are not getting that much follower. So I I also feel bad that why why not take a look sir and why not there are so many people not getting that much. Uh, From Mumbai also, there are so many people. So this day, uh, there are so many people like they are not getting that much recognition that follows. That only because of the engagement and algorithm algorithm of Instagram. So <laughs> when a person like disappointed because of the likes, if if he is not getting good likes and if if he is disappoint disappointed, so I don't think so. There is a reason of that disappointment because your work is like work is different thing and Instagram is now the, the whole different platform. it becomes now a business it becomes now uh uh it's like a entertainment app right but when it right. when instagram started it was not like that it was not like that hmm. it was photography purpose but now it becomes very different so i suggest one thing to all each and everyone that don't don't judge yourself or don't judge anyone because of the likes likes and the right. followers because i have seen lot of people who don't have followers but they have like immensely great immensely absolutely and, absolutely and uh, now right now i started using 500px also to like uh, to uh, yeah. sir here there share my content on there also started youtube right so there are so many other the instagram the, there are so many other platform also to share your work the reason i chose instagram my friend and luckily there are couple of pictures got uh, like circulated around the world and around the cities quickly when right. i uploaded that's the reason like i i, I grew very fast on instagram hmm. right now my my condition is also same like i'm not growing <laughs> so, uh, algorithm and engagement and hashtag thing i really un- don't understand that thing but yes till now it's a very good opportunity uh, to like reach people very easily it's a very good platform to reach people to understand people you know what i have uh, मैंने आज ही एक टीम बनाया लाइक अट प्लेइंग 11 फ्रॉम अवर कंट्री फ्रॉम ईच 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 स्टेट वन फोटोग्राफर सो योर बेस्ट फोटोग्राफर अच्छा आई 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 शेयर लाइक विद ऑन माय ऑन माय स्टोरी फ्रॉम ईच स्टेट वन फोटोग्राफर फ्रॉम 11 स्टेट 11 फोटोग्राफर टीम सो इट्स वेरी एक्सेसिबल नाउ टू रीच पीपल फ्रॉम फ्रॉम लर्निंग फोटोग्राफी दैट्स दैट्स समथिंग आई लाइक अबाउट दिस ऐप एंड टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट I started my travel photography also, and that whatever whatever I shoot, you know, street and all, from Instagram only. And Instagram was the only but like my inspiration because I I see so so many people, I saw so many people doing some uh, different kind of kind of work. Then I started using that I, that thing. Then I applied that experience. Right. So you know, it's a very inspiring journey because I remember when I was going to Mumbai for the first time. I think even then we had a you know discussion over DM that I should go to this place or that place. I remember that conversation very well. And uh, you know that this is this is magic because a couple of pictures. I think this is something that is disappearing in in these these sort of in in the recent generation. Then when people do not have to see the name of the photographer when they see a picture coming up on their feed, immediately looking at the style of the picture, they will know. uh do you think that you know this generation is lacking in that signature style or uh, do you think that this generation is doing particularly well in that genre what is your opinion about this you are absolutely right when it comes to like what you say now because uh, when I, when i see a pitch when I, if i'll take example of two photographers now first is vinith mora sir if i see some picture i can I, without seeing her name i can I see his name i can say that yes, it's it's vinith mora sir's picture as same like audi sir like because they both are from different different like genre but they have their own quality they have their own signature right. style to do some work and right now we like because of i think instagram only because of instagram only and because of i think the likes and likes and all the things likes and share people have changed their mind people create the things that they have already seen in the on okay right if a person create uh, something original If person gets some original, that becomes the signature. That becomes the signature. Right. That, 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 that I feel so because there are n number of possibilities when it comes to because when I uh, we we all are tra- tra- travel in a group, me my yeah. friends. But when we yeah. shoot a so, uh, same subject, we shoot very differently. We shoot very differently. Yeah. So that's yeah. like different us, different different personalities. 
but uh, when it comes to recreate something it is very like difficult to recreate something and when if someone is trying to recreate that means that is not his signature okay right. so if we if we see if we see something and then we are clicking then it becomes just signature I, I, that i feel so because when it comes to you also we there are so many times on ganpati reception also we were together we were shooting together besides yeah, i was shooting yeah. so, the same subject we are shooting a same subject but your composition was very different your wide angle yeah. shots were very different I, and i was shooting very differently with vertical so that's yeah. defined that's defined something like me because we both have our style i can yeah. easily recognize your pictures because of your color color palettes and color mm-hmm. thing and mm-hmm. i like your yellow is always the same yellow like previous one that's a speciality mm-hmm. and right. uh, about about like me if i want to say i always play with the angle like yeah right now yeah. Put, uh, i have one concern right now i i i am not like that like that uh, like previous personality now i am changed because <laughs> of because okay right now i am finding more peace and more good things in a very simple picture like a simple mm. landscape i am enjoying it from my recent trip i have only click normal landscape pictures I don't know what's wrong with me. I I don't know what's wrong with the situation. But I'm liking very simplicity. Well, there's Simple. nothing wrong with you or the situation because you know, uh, just like speaking a simple English or simple Marathi or simple Bengali, clicking simple images is the toughest in the world. Believe it or not, everybody wants to create create complicated images, images that make value, images that have a lot of story behind it. But very few people can execute simple thought provoking images in one frame a simple picture say a white background and a small shadow and a small maybe a bird flying flying through there could be so many interpretation to it but simplistic creation of simplistic minimalistic pictures is also very very much lacking these days i think nothing is wrong with yeah. you i think you are going yeah. to transition lacking yeah this lacking uh you so you sent me yeah you sent me picture last year a, a book last year that books yeah. at that was very like very very nice because of the minimalism because of the light and yeah. all the stuff i i studied that book twice now also yeah. i have that book and uh, like i'm studying that because of the lighting because of the street and because of the the elements in that it's very it's very nice. right i think i think you can look at the magnum contact sheets if you want to look at you know how the uh, uh, you know world photographers have perceived simplistic frames magnum contact sheets are some of the best images that you know people have created over the generation and it's also very interesting to see how the angles have also changed angles perspectives mm-hmm. use of mm-hmm. color black and white over from the 1960s to now in the 2000s so each and every people who have we have actually you know uh, qualified through magnum all their pictures with the details are there you can look at this i think it will give you some inspiration going so ganesh i i wanted to have a very small but fun session with you because we have been talking you know all serious yeah. stuff so i have a, i have set up like five questions to ask you let's see okay. what what could be your answers theek hai we'll do it fast theek hai so <laughs> the first question is say in a in a lonely island there's nothing with you right what would be the five things you'll carry uh, there there's no human being five things that you will carry uh, with you and and keep keep with you for the for the for say a complete week of supply five things first is water second is my camera third is a watch and uh, four, and fourth is uh, i will carry i will carry a bag a bag maybe and the fifth thing uh, the fifth person i will carry okay laptop maybe laptop laptop bus wahan pe internet connection nahi hai by the way there's no internet so there's no instagram going so so okay. would you like to change the combination <laughs> uh, but again, again a camera uh, camera yes. and uh, huh? what about my bag and four uh, was what was it i think you talked about uh, fo- uh, camera phone laptop bag uh, what else so what i will change uh, i will like, watch 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 yeah watch 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 is important uh, <laughs> i'll take one book one book book okay read yeah. okay okay your uh, your favorite uh, you know you have to name five of your favorite actors but in the reverse direction not best to worst but worst to best okay worst to best okay 
जल्दी जल्दी इमरान हाशमी इमरान हाशमी ओके सलमान खान शाहरुख खान इमरान हाशमी शाहरुख खान इमरान हाशमी सलमान खान शाहरुख खान रणबीर कपूर एंड रणबीर सिंह Oh, nice, nice. So Ravi Singh is number one. Yes, yes, yes. Because of dedication. Okay, okay great. Uh, uh, my next question is uh, your five favorite food, five favorite food items, and again in the reverse direction. <laughs> the favorite one should come last. <laughs> uh, last uh, dosa, dosa. Acha, okay. Then. Uh, a chinese uh, chinese manchurian okay 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 then uh, uh, uh then uh, vada pav okay vada pav okay okay third number vada pav okay then uh, okay then pani puri acha uh, and the the first like the, the main thing in chai ice cream ice cream okay Okay, Sanket was saying gulab jamun by the way. <laughs> Hello. Okay, uh, so okay, we are done with the actors. Okay, musicians. Now we will give you a chance to go from best to the to number five. Oh, that 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 really. musicians. So uh, <laughs> my like like uh, when it comes to musician, I love A R Rahman. When it comes okay. to A R, I think first, then uh, then. अजित सिंह ऑल्सो एंड देन फीमेल श्रेया घोषण Shreya Ghoshal. Okay, I'm so heartbroken to to hear the name of two Bengalis in number four and five, <laughs> but then never mind. At least they're there, <laughs> right? Okay. So now that we uh, have done with the musicians, your favorite top five photographers. Top five. I know top five. Top five is very difficult to say, but then still very difficult. Uh, uh, very difficult. So we do street say. Street. Top five street photographers. Five street photographers. Five. Uh, Vinay Chowdhury. Uh, Vinay Chowdhury sir. Uh, right then uh, street photography meet for us sir and siddesh benede siddesh benede right right and navin uh, watsa sir navin watsa navin watsa mm street photography navin watsa sir then you you are also you also hey uh, hey you are kidding what <laughs> no, no, not kidding in my, in my <laughs> playing 11 you are you are there yeah, in my, so and also मोहित खेत्रापाल फ्रॉम वाराणसी 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 या 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 मोहित इज इज वंडरफुल वंडरफुल राइट राइट आई डोंट वांट टू यू नो टेक टेक इंटरव्यू फ्रॉम यू बट देन एनी वन पर्टिकुलर फोटोग्राफर यू वांट टू मेंशन व्हेन इट कम्स टू ट्रैवल ट्रैवल जॉनर एनी वन एनी वन फ्रॉम इंटरनेशनली इफ आई इफ आई वांट टू से जॉर्डन 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 हेमोंड Jordan Hammond is a hmm. yeah his his yeah. frames from China are are amazing the uh, China yeah. frames you know what I, I I wanted to visit China this year but Are. <laughs> right okay uh, your five favorite cartoon characters cartoon characters my favorite uh, courage of cowley boy you know that that was my favorite favorite I know yeah uh, Richie Rich and Scooby Doo Be that dog from huh? Scooby Doo uh, ड्रीम्सोडी But you know, hasn't happened so far. Two places in India and two places beyond India. What are these two places? So beyond India, my I want to. I, I, Norway is the first. Norway is the first. Like, Norway. Uh, 
Okay. I want to visit Norway. And uh, then... Norway, come on. The, the whole Europe. Like Europe. Europe, acha. Acha. Europe, uh, okay. So, what what is this? What do you want to do in Europe, rather? I mean, what are the things that you really want to do? Is it purely landscape, streets, or or travel, or a mix of both? In uh, in, in in Europe, I want to like shoot travel and street, and in okay. Norway, I want to shoot landscape. So okay. I have like okay. so that are two things. In India, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. In India, Kashmir, Kashmir, uh. It's my like, from, from my beginning of my career, I, I really I wanted to visit Kashmir, Kashmir, but it never happened. But Kashmir is on my list. So Kashmir. Okay. And beautiful uh, places. Kashmir is there. And uh, West Bengal, because you know I the reason of West Bengal because I have been there for only for a one day. And I was traveling like from I I I went Bhutan, Bhutan via. That yeah yeah uh, yeah via West Bengal. Lepcha Jagoti yeah Lepcha Jagoti you have to you have to pass to North Bengal while yeah, going yeah. to Bhutan. I love yeah. that place and I was like oh my god what a beautiful place so I want to visit there. I I I don't remember the name but I have I have clicked few pictures so I know the location so but I really want to visit that place. It's so nice. Yeah. I, my journey was yeah. Bhutan till uh, from Kolkata from. Uh, West Bengal to Bhutan uh, from Bagdogra, from Bagdogra to Bagdogra. Bhutan yeah. train, like train journey, and yeah. it was so yeah. amazing. Yeah. So that was yeah. like beautiful. I want to visit. Yeah, so that's North Bengal. That's one of the best places for landscape photography in Bengal. Yeah. So that more or less Lataguri, and you have Lepcha Jagot. So all these places, uh, you know, Lataguri. I think Lata. Yeah, it's Lataguri. So you have to pass through that juncture. Uh, and you have to take an email line permit to get into Bhutan. So if you are not taking the Drew Airways, because half of the time this airway tickets are not available, it's because right, of right. lost flights. But then the air, the travel, air travel is wonderful. If you go to uh, you know Bhutan by air, the Drew Air lines, because of the Paro. descent. Paro, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's one of the most I think top ten dangerous, most dangerous airports in the world because of the low space. Yeah. But I, even I didn't get the tickets when I when I went there. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, I I will take one question that came into my you know account when I posted that I am doing a story on on uh, you know rather a live with you. Is that uh, so? What keeps Ganesh going? Something like that because we always see him on the streets whenever there's no you know quarantine. We always see him either traveling here and there, uh, clicking mm -hmm. pictures, always active on Instagram, always replying to questions. What keeps Ganesh going? What is his uh, you know secret of energy? So, you know, I uh, travel t taught me one thing uh, about discovery. Uh, about discovery. Okay. And when I travel to new places, I discover myself more, and I I come to know myself more that who I am. Uh -huh. And that's the reason, like, I become very addicted to travel. I become very addicted to photography. When I used to shoot inside the Bombay, but I used to shoot every day inside the Bombay, like in the Bombay, different different yeah. places. Yeah. And I used yeah. to like visit that places, and when I used to shoot in a different condition, I actually used mm -hmm. to discover myself in a very different way. I I I I come to understand like me and who I am, like why I'm doing this. I always ask myself question, like why I'm doing this, why mm -hmm. I'm shooting here right now, right. Or why I'm here right now. So I always ask myself right. question that why I am here right now. So there there is always right. one answer because I'm loving it, and because I'm living 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 it. So the so that mm -hmm. that keeps always motivate. Uh, because the purpose, my purpose of photography is only to keep myself happy and to keep myself alive, like lively. I feel very right. lively when I when I'm shooting. Uh, right now, right. you know, I'm only passing days, and everybody is doing. I'm watching Netflix, and I'm not shooting much. I'm not shooting anything. I'm feeling uh, to be very, uh, I'm very, very helpless. But uh, but we can do. But I'm very, I'm very excited to go out and shoot something. Not shoot, but I'm excited to go and observe things, the new, new things. So that's something which keeps me motivated. And the, you know, when, when, when we are going somewhere, uh, it's not about Instagram. It's about on life. If you are on a job, also if uh, you are growing, like the position is like uh, you were a TL, now you are a manager, now you are a assistant manager, assistant manager, the manager. So it. Keeps you always motivated uh, to do your job, to do your like things. 
so that's something like keeps keeping me motivated hmm. superb superb i think uh, you know we had a really wonderful session i think instagram has this limit of that one hour i think they might just quickly disconnect us but before they close us one uh, one thing that i really want to know is that where does ganesh uh, see himself in the next 5 years say this is 2020 in 2025 where do we see ganesh what is ganesh doing in 2025 so i will be disappear like i will be not <laughs> country i that i feel so i will be not in the country and i will be the i, I will be at a place where uh, all the forest and a uh, and jungle and uh, i will be staying in a peace oh the, with the nature okay. because i am very much nature boy and i am very because my you know what my goal is to uh, do the, the coming five years a lot of work lot of i want to earn a lot of money also In just five years, and after that, I I want to live my life. I want to go somewhere. I want to shoot also, but I want to live my life peacefully without any, uh, without any like uh, goals. Like I want to do now. Yeah. Because I want to, I, I right. want to retire. I want to retire at the age of thirty. To be very honest. So that's my plan. That's my plan. <laughs> that's not that's not happening, Ganesh. People are no. really gonna you know. We you have to like you know inspire people just the like just the way you are. I know the way that we have been interacting. I think we we were you know walking to Kashish for my camera when so many people even at CST they were stopping uh, you and you know asking you that uh, sir you know what makes you you know go ahead and do so much of you know cool stuff every day. So you cannot retire so early. You have to inspire so many people to take up photography, and uh, you know all of us are really looking forward to seeing you how you you know grow and also yourself in the next you know five six years if not more. Uh, so thank you, Ganesh. It was it was wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> for your uh, for your time and the knowledge i have, i have one request to you that uh, take me seriously because i really want to do photography with you at least four to five days continuously to understand so many thing because uh, it's a, uh, like i studied your profile a lot and i studied so, so many common things like why this is i have a lot of questions but when we'll meet personally i'll ask you that uh, why why this why this shot you take like that so So uh, we'll meet and we'll shoot together soon. Definitely, and, definitely. Yes, sir. Definitely. Next session, and uh, I'm definitely coming this year uh, on Durga Puja. I hope we'll meet before that. If, if possible, you come to Mumbai. We'll explore. Yeah, yeah. And and all the best. Stay- for yeah, before that, we really want to you know uh, uh, at least play, uh, plea everybody to stay at home. Do not venture out. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, do not try if you have a drone of course slide but do not try and venture out we really hope that durga puja happens this year you know going by the trend the lockdown might just go on for ages and mm-hmm. we just hope that you know all the festivals happen and we come back to normalcy please stay yes. safe yes sir yes sir stay safe and so one more thing uh, about your drone how is your drone how is your drone <laughs> so i want to buy uh, you know I- Yeah, yeah, please, uh, please bite. But then uh, I had an accident some a couple of days back. <laughs> Not a very serious one, but then uh, there was some sort of an issue. But then drone flying needs a lot of you know confidence in you. I think more than capability, it's about confidence. That yes, I'm sending the drone two and a half kilometers away. I have the confidence that I'll bring it back. So that is the only thing. Rest, the perspectives. The street photographers have the best perspectives in the world. Nobody can match it. so there's right. nothing with respect to technicality no challenge as such the only thing about drone photography is just to build that you know apne apne mein wo confidence jata lo ki ha main kar sakta hu i'm just going to send it without too much of fear and i think it's sorted that's it because uh, i'm going to buy it very soon by all this end uh, because i want sure. to buy sure sure okay, sure, so sure thank you so much for your time and we'll meet soon and uh, it was Absolutely. a very great session. like lot of interest yeah. like lot of things to learn from thank you so much sir. same year same year thank you thank you very much one selfie okay thank you sir thank you so much thank you bye bye thank you so much bye 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 ganesh bye.